calculate the osmotic pressure exerted by the solution. 12.3 grams of aqueous sucrose, C12H22O11, in 3 liters of a solution at 65 degrees Celsius. So to begin, we're going to remember that our osmotic pressure formula is molarity times our R constant, which is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per kelvin mole times our temperature, which will always be in kelvins. So to start off with, we're going to take our 65 degrees Celsius and change it into kelvins. We can do this by adding 273.15. That gives us 338.15 kelvin. Next, we want to get our molarity. You can recall that the formula for molarity is moles of solute per liter solvent. Well, we have our liters of solvent, but we don't have our moles of our solute. We have grams of solute. So to fix that problem, we're going to find the moles of our sucrose. We do that by putting our 12.3 grams of sucrose on top. And then on the bottom, we calculate the molar mass by adding up the 12 carbons, the 11 oxygens, and 22 hydrogens. That will give you 342.296. That means our moles, when you divide this, is 0 0.036. Now we can find our molarity. So M equals our moles, 0 0.036 mole, over our solvent, which is 3 liters. When you divide that, you're going to get 0 0.012 for our molarity. So at this point, we already calculated our Kelvin and our molarity, so now we just go back to our formula for osmotic pressure and we will see that our osmotic pressure equals our molarity which is 0 0.012 times our Kelvin 338.15 Kelvin times our R constant which is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per Kelvin mole Multiplying all that together gives you an osmotic pressure of 0 0.333.